are just, I mean, the feds are arresting people who collect rainwater in places like Michigan uh, and Oregon. I, I have the articles here in front of me. I'm going to play a report later about that. They're coming after everyone. It's the green police. It has nothing to do with the environment. It's feudalism, control of everything. 90% of Nevada, I was incorrect, I kept saying 97. Since that six, seven, eight year old number, it's now 90%. They've gotten that much more. They're just grabbing it or buying it or forcing people off of it. The state has 5%. That's 95% is government. Can the people have 5%? The answer is no. And we've got David Knight and Josh Owens on the ground with a video Skype feed from the state of Nevada. They're in Mopa Valley in the town. And they're going to be at the town hall meetings, all of it. We've got clips of Cliven Bundy, who's on the last 30 minutes of the show today. Uh, we're going to do a live Skype interview with him. Yesterday, the feds came out, and this is all on video at Infowars.com. It's linked up at DrudgeReport.com, top link, and began tasering and beating and bloodying and beating people who did nothing, and, and, they, and it's a classic Fed move. They go, somebody around here earlier bumped one of our cars, so we're going to just taser and attack everybody as a brutal criminal assault to intimidate more people showing up. The answer to this is for people to show up, more media to show up. We reported this over a week ago. Drudge picked it up. Now it's all over Fox News. It's all over Glenn Beck. It's all over Sean Hannity. Now it's being covered by the largest media outlets in the United States. And, you know, MSNBC and others want to act like they're the dominant media with a half million views top with Glenn Beck with, you know, six, seven, eight million listeners a day. Um, Michael Savage with six, seven, eight million uh, listeners and viewers a day. Um, Rush Limbaugh with 10, 12 million listeners a day. This show with three million terrestrial listeners a day. Millions on the Internet in the aggregate conservatively. 15 million a week total. Um, Limbaugh, 25 million a week, 22 million a week. Glenn Beck, you know, 20 million a week. Uh, all, all these shows. Coast to Coast AM with 16 million a week covering it. Uh, and But then, oh, MSNBC and CNN with half a million viewers on their top shows. Oh, they set the reality and are demonizing him. So we're going to... We're going to go to David Knight and find out what he's got coming up on this, but more people are getting there. And the answer is, I believe the Gandhi approach is to just walk through and show it's the people's land. Now, remember, this isn't even a national park. This is 90% of the state. His family's been there since 1877. They have the, quote, surface rights and forage rights, the water rights and the forage rights. Unequivocal, folks. I, my family are big landowners since 1829. We still hold land, 1829, Mexican land grants. So I know all about this. And the governor's come out and said, this is intimidation. This is wrong. He's following state law. Now, we're going to go to break and come back with David Knight in the, in the Skype link there. But first, I want to play a clip of Cliven Bundy speaking at the uh, Maopa Valley Town Hall meeting. And even the town hall has big banners up about the defense of private property. And he, get, and he says the sheriff needs to arrest the feds. And, folks, all it's going to take is a sheriff. This isn't like, you know, the civil rights movement where some of the states were out of line and Eisenhower sent in, you know, federal marshals in the army to open up schools where the moral high ground was on the side of the feds, the balance of power. This is, this is the people having their land rights taken. And now if the feds push and try to say folks are terrorists in this, they're going to lose the moral high ground. So this is the time to push. I don't want violence. But this could be the shot heard around the world if the feds, the sniper, shoot somebody. And, and I'm worried, you know, there are real unstable people out there, too. They're sick of being pushed around. You know, there could be somebody really go after the feds out there. And, I mean, I don't want anything to happen to a bunch of idiot BLM people. They're morons. They're they're, they're dishonorable idiots who, who think that their authority is the authorization to be involved in tyranny. Let's go uh, uh, out to break with uh, Mr. Bundy. Now, remember what I told you about uh, who owns this land? Who owns this land? We do. Who are you? Clark County. Okay, you're the citizens of Clark County, Nevada. You own this land. This is your public land. And so I asked the question, here tonight, is the United States government trespassing on your land? Yes. Okay, let's ask the question again. Is Clive and Bundy trespassing on your land? No. All right, we're going to.
on the break. Stay with us. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carding to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Hi there. My name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at 123coverup.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are. Incompetent, lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up, and you will be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at 123coverup.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123coverup.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at 123coverup.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's 123coverup.com. Do you want to feel awesome all day long? Do you want to sleep so good you wake up feeling awesome the way you did when you were a kid? Feel awesome with no caffeine, just awesome tasting nutrition. Try Passion for Life and rediscover your awesomeness. Call today, 844-TRY-LIFE. Call 844-879-5433 or visit 844-TRY-LIFE.com. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds, is civilian legal in all 50 states, is 100% made in the USA, is veteran owned, and ships next business day for free. Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Is it getting better, or do you feel the same? We have a bankrupt Will financially and on you now? culturally system. Got someone we have a bankrupt federal government run by foreign banks that want people off the public land. The federal government's got more than half the land in this country, upwards of 80% of the land out west, 90% of Nevada. And they don't want people using the open range that predates fences coming in in the 1870s and 1880s. In Mexico, in all the national parks, 
I've been to a couple big ones that have big rolling hills and, and grass and desert. There's sheep and cows, folks, and the people aren't paying to be on it because they've always been there and they have the grazing rights to it. One reason Mexico City's gotten so huge is that in southern Mexico, the only area that was able to stop it was the Chiapas area. But in all the other areas, they forced everybody off their land because they didn't have deeds to it. They'd been there for thousands of years. So same thing, all over the world, the globalists, the UN, under Agenda 21, is forcing rural populations off land. And if you own the land, they're going to come take it from you with regulations and taxes. Now, I take you now live to Nevada, right there on the border with Arizona, with the sixth-generation family, and we have uh, Amon Bundy, the, uh, Amon Bundy, the son uh, of the rancher who's been standing up, Cliven Bundy. Uh, but first is David Knight uh, um, giving us a report on what he's seen since he got there. David Knight uh, reporting. David, thanks for coming on and, and thanks for going out there. Thank you, Alex. We're here at the protest area, and I've got Emin Bundy standing right next to me. You, know, you were talking about people being tasered last night, and there was some real brutal things that happened there, but I want to let him tell you why they were there. As you mentioned before, this is about rights. If they can take their grazing rights, if they can take their water rights, they can take your rights, your property rights at your home. So if you're not a rancher, you don't know any ranchers because they're going out of business left and right. And this is a small family business that's been here for over about 140 years. And uh, let me let you uh, hear from Ammon what happened last night. He was one of the people that got tasered last night. Ammon, tell us what happened last night. Um... Well, just to set the area, they've got this this land uh, around 600,000 acres completely locked down. If you step off the road, they arrest you. And they don't just be nice about it. They knock you on the ground, rub your face in the ground, handcuff you, and take you off. That's how they're doing it. Um, so they literally, by force, have uh, closed this land off and have occupied it. And one more thing to set the setting here. If uh, almost every wash and every canyon, if you will, here and every road has either an agent on it or has a camera in it to make sure that people are obedient to what they say. And uh, anyway, and, and, and I'm not exaggerating that Man, one bit. That's just OK. Bit. So yesterday we, we've been uh, we've we've already had uh, citizens uh, run to the ground and arrested. Um, we so. The other day, and I'll just tell you two incidences. The other day, we had a citizen, a 16-year-old boy that pulled off here where he's been his whole life, went down to the river here, and, and we saw about five or six um, of their agents or vehicles go down there. And so we rushed over there to protect him because of what happened before. And they were on their way to doing the exact same thing to him. And we, we had to, you know, basically push them off this 16 year old boy to get him to and protect him and they we did back him down there was about 40 of us then uh yesterday where most of the activity that's that got a lot of news here the way it started is they came down off this mountain and there was 16 or excuse me 14 units and uh one of them was a uh a dump truck with a backhoe on a trailer behind it and the other 13 units or protection units heavily armed for this dump truck and this backhoe. And we saw them come off this hill, so we took the opportunity to protest them, but we also felt that it was crucial that we understood what in the world was in the back of that dump truck. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been chasing these cattle all over this country, and it's been a hot, hot year so far. It was over, over 90 degrees already, and that these cattle can't run very long before they overheat, and it'll kill them. Also, we know that they've been separating these these mothers from their calves. This is calving season for us right now. So they're separating these young calves from their mothers, and we are seeing cattle uh, that have tight bags, meaning where are their calves? Their calves are separated, oh, yeah. you know, lying under a bush, getting ready to die or dying. Oh. So, so uh, anyway, we wanted to know what was in the back. Tell him stay That's there. Not possibly. Was stay random. there. We're going to break. Hang on. Stay there. We're going to go to break. Yeah, he's going to come back and finish the story. And, 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 right. and there's video at Infowars.com where they taser him and blood and everything and slamming women's heads in the ground. And imagine 600,000 acres. Everybody's always gone on it. Locals don't even know what's going on. You step on it. Here come federal killers. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. 
Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.